Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Over the past 30 years, warfare has become more and more automated. Perhaps the best example of this is the increased use of drones of all sizes and shapes. Modern drones can attack, defend, perform reconnaissance, and accomplish a wide range of other missions with minimal human intervention. This new threat has forced militaries worldwide to devise new ways to protect themselves from these enemy drones. One of the best examples of this is the Phalanx CIWS, an abbreviation for Close-In Weapon System. Typically mounted aboard a ship, the system consists of a powerful 20mm Vulcan cannon mounted aboard a swiveling base. It can detect and counter rocket, artillery, mortar, and drone attacks using sophisticated tracking and computer systems. Its cannon can fire anywhere between 3,000 and 4,500 rounds per minute and has a maximum firing range of up to 6,000 yards. The Phalanx CIWS preceded the drone revolution by more than a decade, as it is also extremely effective against incoming missiles, fast boats, and other threats. In fact, the United States Navy has installed a phalanx on virtually every class of surface combat ship. Due to the multiple sophisticated machineries and electronics pieces, phalanx systems need to be calibrated frequently. This can be accomplished using both targeted and untargeted testing drills. There's almost no overstating just how powerful a weapon the phalanx is. With minimal human oversight, it can engage a wide range of potential threats, regardless of the speed at which they're traveling. In naval situations, the phalanx is typically loaded with armor-piercing tungsten penetrator rounds, which provide excellent defense against ships with heavy steel hulls. Another close-in weapon system often employed aboard surface vessels is the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile. This small, lightweight surface-to-air missile is typically paired with an MK-49 guided missile launching system, which can be placed on the deck of various ships to provide protection against a wide variety of threats. The ram gets its name because the missile literally does roll during flight. This is because the RF tracking system uses a two antenna interferometer to identify planes of incoming energy. It also reduces the need for multiple steering canards. Missiles fired by the MK-49 system can reach speeds of over Mach 2, which equates to roughly 1,500 miles per hour. They also boast more than 95% accuracy, making them the perfect tool for intercepting fast-moving enemy missiles. Indeed, 
This system is frequently paired with the phalanx to maximize a ship's defenses in various situations. Since 1992, the U.S. Navy has installed this system on various vessels, particularly destroyers and littoral combat ships. Over the past few decades, numerous updates have been made to both the RAM and the MK-49 firing system. As self-guided smart missiles and fast-moving drones become more and more common, it's imperative that these systems be ready to intercept any threat that might come their way, regardless of the category. Of course, unmanned aerial vehicles like drones are not just a concern at sea. This has led to the development of numerous specialty weapons designed specifically to combat this ever-growing threat. In Poland, the military and Zaklade, a leading defense manufacturing company, have developed a counter UAV system designed to deal with even the smallest drones, which still pose a major intelligence risk. The system uses a series of pylons equipped with RADA multi-mission hemispheric radar. These have a detection range of up to 10 kilometers for small UAVs and can even detect nano-sized UAVs up to three kilometers away. The weapon is a multi-barrel 12.7 millimeter machine gun. Equipped with special cameras, those help hone in on its target. The system can be operated manually or set to fully automatic. Like the phalanx, the Zaklade anti-UAV system can fire thousands of rounds per minute, obliterating targets from up to 2,000 meters away. In nearby Germany, one of the oldest defense companies, Rheinmetall, has been working on a fully contained air defense system known as SkyShield. One of the main components of the system is the Skynex truck. Fully mobile for use virtually anywhere, the truck can use its 35mm revolver gun to engage an entire swarm of unmanned aerial vehicles. This system utilized extremely powerful optics and sensors to track and destroy its targets in a matter of seconds. This is just one of many air defense vehicles and systems currently being developed by Rheinmetall. According to the company, entire bases and military outposts will soon be able to enjoy 24-hour protection from semi or fully automated heavily armed turrets. A more compact air defense system can be found in the early con Sky Ranger 8-wheel armored vehicle. This revolutionary system utilizes the same 35mm revolver gun to defend against short and very short range targets, including drones. It boasts a staggering combination of firepower and precision, all in the context of a fast, tank-like vehicle with the ability to reach almost any area, be it on or off-road. Target practice drills demonstrate a weapon capable of hitting even the smallest targets with incredible accuracy. The current land-based protection system is known as the CRAM, which stands for Counter Rocket, Artillery and Mortar. It's essentially the same as the phalanx used aboard Navy ships. Boasting a 20mm radar-controlled gun that can protect land-based targets from incoming missiles and other attacks. But while the phalanx shoots armor-piercing rounds, the CRAM uses high-explosive incendiary tracer ammo.
These rounds actually explode when they either hit the target or when their tracer function burns out. This not only allows missing the target and still damaging them, but also prevents the explosive rounds from damaging nearby structures if they fail to score a direct hit. The CRAM system was developed by Raytheon Industries, but is shipped in pieces. This means it's essential that it be assembled and prepared while in the field. These soldiers are assembling a CRAM at Kandahar Airfield in Afghanistan. As rocket and mortar attacks are always a threat in a forward operating base such as this, installing a CRAM system can serve as a much needed line of defense against incoming weaponry, drones, and other potential attacks. That said, the average CRAM can weigh as much as 58,000 pounds. It must also be constructed with logistics in mind. One of the most important features of the CRAM system is its ability to operate in the black of night. Firing up to 75 rounds a second, Few weapons or vehicles would be capable of penetrating airspace guarded by this highly sophisticated weapon. However, the CRAM is rarely the only line of defense in these situations. Typically, other sensors and radar tracking devices will be put in place around a camp or an airbase ensuring that all equipment and personnel are as safe as possible. Like its sea-based counterpart and other air defense systems, the CRAM must undergo regular testing. At night, it's easy to see the tracers attached to each round. These explode after a certain point, ensuring that the highly explosive shells do not cause any collateral damage if they happen to miss their target, or during tests like this when there is no target at all. The CRAM, Phalanx, and Sky Shield are the military's first attempts at dealing with the new threats posed by unmanned aerial vehicles and drones. Many of them are multi purpose, meaning they are designed to target many types of incoming weaponry, not just UAVs. However, companies like Raytheon are investing billions into new drone-specific weapons, including standalone robotic defense systems and handheld drone disabling guns. The more portable and capable these weapons are, the more people they will be able to protect.
That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.